I may go back slightly to your school days. Um, that is going back. Well, I reckon I'll put it like that. <laughs> um, when you were at school, did you have any musical ambitions? None at all, no. Um, in fact, at one stage I was thrown out of uh, the sort of uh, communal hymns that we used to have in the mornings. Uh, because my voice had broken, I was singing with a very grotty, <laughs> froggy f folk, as it were, you know. So I wasn't even allowed to join in the choir practice. And now you're a very big international star. And that leads me on to the fact that during your international career, you have been quoted that you sometimes travel over 150,000 miles a year. Well, um, no, um, that's incorrect, actually. Mm -hmm. It's 250,000 miles a year. Oh, I must have been well, <laughs> Does this pose, well, probably causes many problems. One of the things I'm very interested in is this adjusting to the time zone. Well, um, I don't think you ever adjust, actually, because you walk around sometimes, like you, you go to Australia, and by the time you get there, they, they advertise 21 hours. Yes, it is 21 hours flying time, but your actual travel time is about 36 hours. And then you're 12 hours behind or in front of the clock, I don't know what or which, I should say. But um, I think it takes you a good week to adjust to that. You walk around and you, you get what we now call in our profession pressurised, you know, because you've been up in the atmosphere, that sort of 37, 42,000 feet for 36 hours, and under pressure, and you come down and you're dopey. You don't know what you're really doing for about yeah. three or four days. It's just and this is true, you know. And you, of course, have to go straight on stage and perform as if nothing had ever happened. Well, yes, um, unless you're as fortunate as myself, and that is that if I'm going to go to Hong Kong or Australia or Canada or Los Angeles or whatever it is, I always try to go about two days previous. You're going to allow yourself time to... Allow myself time mm -hmm. to get acclimatised, mm -hmm. as it were. All this travelling must bring great pleasure. should I say acclimated? That's an American expression. Yeah. Now we're going into the common market, I suppose we should go international. Um, how much is your home life due to the travelling? Um, not really, only in as much as that um, my wife likes to travel with me whenever possible. But obviously it's not always possible because of the distance of the children and the one thing that we know. Well, um, the travel. Uh, what? Exactly, is your favourite sphere to work in? Do you like working in clubs, concert halls, or television? Well, I've always said that um, my favourite media is uh, cabaret, but uh, having just done this uh, concert tour, mm -hmm. it's been such a joy to do um, that I'm revising my opinion a bit. I still like cabaret very mm -hmm. much indeed, but um, these concerts have been so marvellous, you know, I hope that we'll do some more in the future. And even on from that cavalry residency at clubs over the country, do you ever have to change your act if you feel that um, on the first few nights you could put something in or possibly take something out to improve it? Um, well, all I can say to that is I'd like to know a night in cavalry when the act has been the same as it was the night before. <laughs> because we change it every yeah, night, you know, yeah. depending upon what people want to hear. Mm -hmm. or yeah, because we get requests and we take yeah. things out and put things in. It's more difficult with concerts, of course, because you've got the big orchestra. And if they haven't rehearsed the songs with the music, then it becomes difficult. But with clubs, when generally you're working with a small group, then it's very flexible. You can do more or less what you want. The name that Monroe, obviously associated with certain well-known tunes that you have made very popular, but... Do you ever get tired for the same old requests, and do you like to try to find more original material in your act, or do you just have to keep on singing the old songs? Well, um, we have to keep singing the old songs, obviously, because that is the uh, the reason that we're doing the things that we're doing these days. You know, that's what the public have wanted to hear. That's what the public have paid money to come and listen to. But we try to intersperse with um, more modern material, as it were. You know. Finally, any hobbies? Um, hobbies I really don't have. I, I play golf badly. As badly as my musical director, Colin Keith. He's a bad golf player as well, so we get on very well together. Well, yeah. yeah, it's great, you know. He loses the ball and I lose the ball, so it doesn't matter. Um, I swim 
Um, unfortunately, that's one of the matters I share, as you can tell by my corporation. And um, I'm a television addict. I, I watch everything up to the epilogue, and including the epilogue. And I disagree with him as well at times. 